Five Nights at Freddy's 3. The one I was... This is the first one that I followed the hype train for. The first one where I got a... Where I was able to partake, I guess, in the special surprise. Where, like, he just drops it randomly. Because I thought, wait, there was no release date. And then, all of a sudden, let me just go ahead and... Oh, the aspiration's already set at 16 by 9. That's nice. Okay, uh, so... What's it? The... This is the first game that I actually part- like, I- The first time I would. What am I trying to say? The first time where I as a player was deceived by the release date, because they didn't have a release date, and then all of a sudden just dropped it on us, like, boom, there you go. So that's the first time that I got to experience that, which was awesome. But, um... So aside from that... Oh, look at that, it actually tells us- I feel like as we get further and further on through the games, it- it, they give us more and more. Look at that! It tells us LB for the camera and the maintenance panel. I feel like the further on we get into this uh, throughout the games, the more it tells us. Look at that! Look at all these things. And again, no camera lag. I mean, this game always had a delay between the cameras. So th this is... Th so far, this is probably the best for yet. Which is disappointing because, you know, it's the... It's the weakest game of all of them. Undoubtedly. But, uh, yeah, so... Spring, spring Trap doesn't show up on night one, so I can just kind of get used to this. What I'm curious about, how do I... Because to, to get the true ending of this game, you have to type into the... First of all, can I boop this? Can I boop this newt? No? Okay. How do I... I can't pause the game. I can't do it. Are there any buttons I can press? Like, how do I, how do I access the... the wall panels? Because I'm assuming that the... Like, you, you can't port Fighters of Freddy's 3 without also porting the good ending. So, what... There's gotta be something. Because I can't... No, none of the buttons do anything. Maybe instead of a, a series of numbers, it'll be, like, a series of buttons you have to press. That'll probably be it. Because I can't imagine they, they'll just cut it out entirely. That wouldn't make any sense. If they just straight up cut the... What's it? <sighs> cut, cut the... Cut the good ending? That wouldn't make any sense at all. But... I guess, I, if they cut the, the good ending, then what even is the point? Because Final Fantasy III is a game. It's not all that great. I, I mean, okay, so, like, story-wise, it's excellent. Gameplay-wise, it's not super spectacular. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's passable. It's, it's, it's fine. It's not a bad game. It's just not super... Super fun to play. And uh, the story totally makes up for it, though. So, it, it, what I'm getting at here is that if they... If they had cut the story... From the... Like, if they cut the, the story's main appeal, which is, of course, the good ending... Um, then... It also makes you wonder what the... What the point is. Anyway, uh, there's nothing really interesting I can say here until we get to... to until we get to the first mini game between nights. So, I will skip ahead in the video until when that happens. If it gives me another 70 gamer score... Oh. 50 gamer score for surviving the first night in which nothing can kill you. Nice. Okay, so they didn't cut these mini games, so that's good. All right. So f f step one. Okay, I guess step one is get off the stage. Step two is head over here and see if we. So let's see what the clue is. What's the clue? Okay. The the game doesn't like direct uh diagonal movements. That's that's a little annoying. I guess I'll just use the not can use the D pad. You can't move diagonally, which is kind of annoying. I'm not no, I'm not gonna follow you. I'm gonna go I'm going for the clue. What's the clue? BBX. Aha! So not BB double click BBX. How does that work? Oh, is it oh, you know, mmm, I wonder. I wonder if it's gonna be like the AXBY. Because it's top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. So what would that be? If I tilt it to the if I tilt the control to left to be YXBA. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. And that's the thing, because this, of all the games, is the one that relies the most around point clicking. Because one, you only use the mouse, and for another, all of the all the mini games are triggered. Well, most of the mini games are no, no, yeah, all the mini games are triggered by either clicking or double clicking on something. So I, I don't know how this is going. I'm going, I'm going to get the the true end if it's possible to get. I don't know how it will be, but if it is possible to get the true ending, I'm getting the true ending. Or the good, the, the good ending, sorry. Because 
because the, the the bad ending is the most disappointing thing you'll ever get in your life. The good ending, the good ending is what really matters. Okay, head over this way. Eh, eh. Here we go. Okay, we're almost there. We're nearly there. Just follow, follow me. Okay, and death, death. Okay, can can we? There, all right, here we go. All right, purple guy, come, come and get me, purple guy. There you are. Okay, that was the big old jump scare from when I first played this game. So, press X on BB. Uh, BB's camera 8, right? I think so. Alright, let's go to camera... I said go to camera 8. Hey, Alright, here we go. Alright, so so it is in the game. If all this is in the game, then that stands to reason that, uh, freaking... Then the good ending is a thing that you can achieve. I don't know how it's going to be possible with double-clicking things, but I guess we'll... Because... You you could you could get away with just pressing X on stuff like this that makes sense, but the buttons on the arcade cabinet and more and even more so the, whoa, uh, the, the, the 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 tiles in the wall. I don't know how that's gonna work, uh, unless you just unless it's just a a, a button. It, it has to be a button combination, right? There's no way it can be anything other than a button combination. What what else could it possibly be? Anyway, so this is actually annoying. Because you have to play, you have to play this mini game, then you have to play Mangle's Quest, and then you have to go back to play BB's Air Adventure a second time. So it's an annoying chain of events. But fortunately, the load times are actually lightning fast. I'm, re I'm really impressed with the load times. Okay, where am I going? I'm going here. No, yes I am. Okay, let's let's see if I'm right. Uh, Y. No, hold it. Y X B. That's wrong. That that's very wrong. No, I didn't want to seal that vent. Okay, get me out of here. Okay. That's not that. What? How, how do we? How do we press? Go up. How do we press those buttons? What triggers those buttons? Is it? The, is it the D-pad? No. The bumper? No. The bumper would close it. Triggers? Not triggers. Control sticks. Click. No. How do you? How do you trigger the the thing? What? What? But I don't even care if Springtrap kills me, honestly. Because I I the I, uh, back button. No. How do you do that? Maybe I can just spam X? No, that doesn't work. What? How, how, let's think. How would you, I would assume maybe it's, because you can't use A or B. Video error, yeah, okay, I can't even do it anymore. Are you here? Not here yet. You're probably going to be here in a second, though. Like, what, what button would trigger it? Is my question. Like, logically, th thinking entirely logically, what buttons do we have on, okay, where is Spring Trip actually? Where is he? He's not there. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's Phantom Mangle. Alright, I didn't, I was thinking, wait, is that something happened? Then I realized, oh wait, no, that's the camera where Phantom Mangle spawns. I just, okay, I, uh, stop thinking there for a second, don't even worry about it. Okay. So, we, we've hit everybody on the, on the, on the controller. So, what? No, oh, I hear that. That means he's close. Actually, wait, oh, you're right there. Okay, you're in camera five. Which means you're probably gonna go through this vent. So, let's go ahead and seal that vent right now. Uh... How do we? What? It, it, we can't use the A button. We can't use the B button because those tack call toggle the map and seal the vents. Y button is for muting, and X button doesn't even do anything. The right bumper doesn't do anything. The left bumper closes it, and the triggers don't do anything. Only thing I think is the D pad, but the D pad doesn't do anything either. So what? What buttons could you possibly press to? No, well, we're we're, we're gonna die. I, I've I've accepted. I'm just gonna take the death. I've accepted the fact that we are going to die. That there's no getting around this one. So, now I'm just trying to figure out, like, how, phys physically, how are we supposed to act, get the good ending? And where is Springtrap? That's another good question. Where are you? Are you there? Not there. Are you there? Are you gonna kill me in a second? Where are you? I don't... Oh, is he in the vent? Hello? Is he in that vent that I sealed? No, he's not in that vent that I sealed. Wait, I... Wait, I sealed this vent! I... Where, where I I sealed that vent. I okay, you're they're there. Okay, you know what? Let's let, let's let, let, let's get let's let's get him towards us. Maybe I I can't see I can't see it on thing. Okay, did they test it? I I don't know if that like that they clearly accounted for Balloon Boy by by making it so that you have to press X instead of double clicking, but. What, what, what do you do for the arcade cabinet? Oh, you're there. Now you're not there. Where, where'd you go? 
Where did you go? You went... Because the thing is, the reason why I want him to kill me is because I have to do it on night two. Okay, you're there. Are you going to be there now? Yeah, great. Okay, uh, tell you what. Go go here. Come, come over here, buddy. Got, got a nice, nice juicy meat right over here for you. Come on over, buddy. Come on over, buddy. I'll pl let's play, play the audio again. Play it. Get it there. Audio error. Yeah. Okay. Just here. While, while I'm resetting the audio, can you please go do this? Maybe. No. I, I really need you to kill me here, Spring Trap. If you do not kill me, we do not get we we we, we do not get good ending if you do not kill me. Please, please go. Go, go kill me. Go. Uh, it's nice, nice, fresh, juicy meat. I'm right here. I'm, I'm inviting you. I'm giving you a... F there you go. I'm giving you a free pass to kill me. This is this is a golden opportunity. You, you gotta take this. No pun intended with the whole golden thing. Please just just get in here. Get in here. Okay, back back out. No, I didn't want to reboot all. Oh, boy. Okay, well, he, he, he pulls the thing down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just get the... Get it down. Get it down. Pull the stupid thing down so we can kill me already. Get... Okay. Look back. Look back. Not there? Alright, how about I get you into the corner? Hi. Get you over there. You gonna be there? Alright, now you should be in a prime spot to kill me. It's 5 a.m. Buddy, I need you to kill me. I, you, don't, you do not understand. I, it, it's, it's now and ever, buddy. It is now and ever. Get, get, get away from the camera... Come to my door and kill me. I, I, I physically need you to kill me or else I do not get good ending. Buddy, please, please. Okay, great. Let's just, let's just look back and forth a few times. Uh, no, let's just pop, pop up the panel. Pop this up and down. Pop it up and down. Pop it up and down. One of these times you're going to come in and kill me. Come on, buddy. Buddy, I, I, I need you to kill- Thank you! Oh, by the skin of my teeth. By the skin of my teeth there, buddy. How about we uh, don't cut it that close next time, all right? Okay, cool. Trapped. Oh, I got I got I got an achievement for getting killed. That's that's cool, I guess. How do we activate those freaking buttons? Like actually how do we activate those freaking buttons? Okay, so I've tweeted click team. I told them that I tried every button on the controller and none of it was responding to the arcade cabinet. Uh I didn't expect to get a response as fast as I did. I I I, I mean credit too, I because I use click team fusion. They've been very responsive in the past. When, like, when emailing the support team. But I didn't expect that Twitter account to be as responsive as it was, and it was, so props to them. They told me, mess with the D-pad. Um, so that confirms that I had the right idea, right? Because I said, it can't be A or B, because those are in use. It can, by extension, not be X or Y, because it would have to be those four in as a whole. The only other thing it could possibly be would be the D-pad, which would also explain why you can't use the D-pad to move around the cameras. But the problem is that, like, I'm pressing up, right, down, left, none of this is actually doing anything. I'm just hitting all the buttons randomly, and it's not... I'm, I'm just spiraling it around in a circle. I'm, I'm messing with the D-pad. Oh, maybe I have to hold X while I do it? Ah, that- Oh, that's what I'm missing! Okay, I have to hold X, and then... Okay, top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Got it! Oh, there we go! Okay, that's what I was missing. That's what- so I had the right idea. I had the- I had the right idea with the- with the D-pad. I just had to press- you had to press X to do it? I mean, it makes... Hmm, I don't actually know. So, if you could move around with the D-pad between the cameras, that would make sense. Because it, it would, then it presumably would stall... It would stall the the act of moving slightly between the cameras. And we do not want to go through that exit. We want to jump over it. And out of the map, like so. And then we're going to go a little mini... Little mini parkour course. Let's see if I can uh, land on one of the platforms before... No, actually, I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, sometimes I can land on one of the platforms. Uh, it depends on how much... I'm trying to get out of the jump. Can I glitch? Aha! Exploiting the system. I missed. Exploiting the system has not worked out well in my favor, apparently. Yeah, so, okay. So, that confirms that much. But it still doesn't explain what we're gonna do about the wall panels. Because that I have no idea for. At least I had an idea here. I was just missing a crucial step. But as far as I don't have the slightest idea what how the wall panels are even gonna kind of work. So... I guess we'll just have to wait and find out, but for now, now we gotta go back to Balloon Boy's Fun Time Happy World. Because now, now we have the, now that we have the cake, we can actually give, because that's the whole idea, right? Is that you get the cake, well, you, you get the balloon 
from Balloon Boy's minigame. Then you get the... That allows you to get the cake from, uh, from Mangle's minigame. And then the cake is now stored in Balloon Boy's inventory, so then we come back into this minigame and go give cake to the crying child, which is over here. Because these... Oh, no, 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 that's... I... Make the jump! Made it, okay. Make this jump. This jump, tricky, because it's it's between two two sides two, it's between two scroll points. Make it okay, and the cake. All right, we del cake delivery successful. All right, awesome. Now we can activate focus on beating the night, which shouldn't be too terribly difficult, because Final Fantasy Freddy's three is probably the easiest game. I th I, we'll have to check, as I said, but I'm, I I think I'm willing to place my bets that it's gonna. Can I honk the? I wish I could honk the nose. It's probably gonna be easier than FNAF 2. Okay, where where do you spawn? You have spawned. Have you spawned camera 10? No, where where did you spawn? I don't see you. And I'm blind, where are you? You're there, okay, you're there. Okay, so play audio there. Is that gonna get you there? That's gonna get you right there. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you to camera 9. The goal is to, is to lock you in camera 10. The goal is always lock in camera 10. So let's get to camera 9. Just in case we're gonna seal this vent. In case you decide to go rogue. Then we're gonna head back here. And get ready to do a good old. Wait, let me make sure you're still there. Yep, still there. Okay, play audio. Get you, get you to camera ten. And now we seal this vent and lock you in place. You're not going anywhere, buddy. And while you're there, I'll play audio one last time. Close this and then reset everything. Just to be on the safe side. Because while you're there, if you crawl into the vent, you're gonna be. You're just gonna get stuck. So there's nothing. Nothing I have to worry about there. So we may as well take this time to reboot everything. And then if I find out you moved... No, I didn't! I didn't want to hit it again. <sighs> I, probably, I probably should have just... I, I was trying to move down to exit and then it didn't respond. I probably should have just pressed LB. That probably wouldn't have been the better thing to do. But what you gonna do, I suppose? Okay, so let's just mash LB so they can get out of this as fast as possible because this is not... The, this is it's longer than I wanted to spend out of the cameras. Uh, where'd you go? Where did you go? Where 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 are you? Where'd you go? You're there? Okay, that, that's... Uh, oh, that's wrong. Wrong. I, I, I pressed A to to play the audio instead of B. All right, so st still still trapped there. Still good. Still in your little corner. Mm. Ah. And that is all we need to do. Okay, so long as you're there, the vent is sealed off. So there's nowhere you can... You can't get to me. Th that's that's the thing. Th this is what I was saying. I, uh, Fight Into Freddy's 2 is easy once you get the rhythm down, but there's no rhythm you can get into here. It's just... Guide him through the building to camera 10, and just keep playing, seal the vent that's right next to camera 10, and then just keep playing audio to get him into camera 10. There's, there's no, there's no real dominant strategy, like, that's not even really a strategy, it's just press B to win. Hello. So, well, unless it doesn't work like that, where, oh, would you go into the vent? Aha, I went into the vent, I see. I, I didn't hear the vent sound play, but that... I, I could have just not heard. I was talking. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm confident enough that he's not gonna move too far. We'll reboot everything. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. See this. This is why I. This is why I don't really like Fight Nights at Freddy's Three, because it, 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 the atmosphere is. I, I mean, it's an interesting idea for an atmosphere, just because you know it's it's a decrepit futurist. It's a decrepit time in the future where it's just built from the remains of all the uh, old abandoned pizzerias, and this this. And spring trap with purple guy inside of him. It's it's all a cool idea on paper, and the teasers building up to it were pretty nice. So that, like I said, this is the first one that I was I was on board the hype train for. And I was following the teasers, and when the the surprise release date got re uh, they when when the he released it unannounced, they just casually was like, eh, that's, that's a game on Steam now. Eh, I don't know, whatever. That that was the first time I experienced that rush, and it was awesome. But and I liked it initially, but over time. Just like I, as I as I grew up and I, I replayed it, it's like yeah, this Hello. this isn't very fun to play. Which I mean, it's I would I, I can excuse that because the story aspect of this game is so is so incredible with all the hidden mini games and everything. That aspect is great, and that's enough to make up. Well, make up is a is a it's tough terminology to say that because when I say make up, I didn't want to reboot audio. Hmm. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just spend more time here than I wanted to. I don't even know what you're talking about. I, I actually don't know if it's faster to reboot everything individually or just re re reboot all. I haven't tested that. I probably could. Because like I said, I'm not, we're not exactly in immediate danger of Spring Church coming, coming to get us. But what I will say is that I'm shocked that we have not seen the Phantom Animatronics yet. 
usually by this point, Phantom Balloon Boy makes himself very, very known. And just like, oh, you were having a fun day? Well, not anymore! But, haven't seen a trace of him yet. As long as you're trapped in that little corner. You're still like, okay, go, go back to camera 10, you know the routine. Just go up now, or whatever. Stay here if you want. I hope they port Sister Location and Pizzeria Simulator over. Ultimate Custom Night would be a little bit tougher. That would be pretty tough. Because every, there are so many keys that you use uh, on the PC that I don't think, I don't even think it could fit on a controller. Yeah, I actually just don't think. Well, you no, know, you, you could do it, but you'd have to, like, everything this map bounds to one through five. I guess six, like, six resets everything. All the power of, all the things like the power generator, silent, the silent elevation, ah, silent ventilation, which is basically useless, heater, uh, power AC, the the gold music box, and then the reset everything. You couldn't activate those with Hello. any kind of button, because there's not enough buttons on the controller. You'd have to physically go into the menu to, to do that, so I don't... That wouldn't work out too well, to put all my custom on console. But sister location you could do. You could definitely do sister location. Especially since there's a lot of sections that are... That like have you moving around with first person. That, that could definitely work. Pizza Race Simulator would also work pretty nicely. Because that's a... Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, he's, in the, he's probably in the vent. Yeah, he's in the vent. I don't know why he keeps going to the vent. He knows it's sealed. He, I didn't unblock it as soon as you left the vent. It's still sealed. It's still, you're still not getting to me, buddy. Just stay in that corner, and it'll be fine. I, I also find it interesting that just the sound of Balloon Boy is enough to draw him into this corner. Like, why, 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 why is the sound of Balloon Boy enough to convince him that I am over there and not where I actually am? I don't know. Anyway. We survived the second night, so now let's... I probably won't leave in all the footage, because I, I want to get the good ending in this video. I, I, I really want to try to get it, because the good ending is the best part about this whole game. So, I... I uh, can I not... Oh, Alright, I have to go down first and then go to the left. So, the next one's Cupcakes. Cupcakes should be easy, right? You just... It, it should be the same thing as Balloon Boy. Just, you just press X on the cameras where all the balloons... Balloons. The cupcakes are. Seems, that seems pretty straightforward. So we can just go ahead and head down here. Yep, four cupcakes. Nothing changed here. I'm guessing, I, I'm assuming it's just going to be press X over all of the things, and that'll be enough to, that should be enough to get us the cupcakes. If not, then I don't know what, what we'll do there. I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm trying to think. It, it'll prob I'm just trying to think of what the freaking, it, it's probably just going to be, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if, it, if like, the way to access the fourth minigame was the Konami code? Instead of the number combination, because you can't put numbers in with a controller. That'd be funny. That would actually be kind of cool. But I'm guessing Click Team did not do that. I'd be... I'm, I'm fairly certain Click Team did not do that. Just just some something something tells me that just that's just not something that they, they did. But anyway, I, also I could have sworn that there, were, there was diagonal direction input on the PC version, but perhaps I'm misremembering. It's been a while since I've... I'm, I don't exactly make a habit of coming back to fight after on PC all that often. Ah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves some cupcakes. Alright, number one is on two. Isn't it? Is it, is it not on number two? There's one there. Uh, how do I... How do I get it? How does one, how does one get cupcake? It's not B. X isn't working. D-pad's not working. Clicking on the left stick, maybe? It's not Y. Back button? Start button? Right bumper, left trigger, right trigger, clicking on the sticks. It appears we have hit another wall. D-pad doesn't do anything. Matching X doesn't do anything. Like, what button do you want me to press? Not that, no, not that button either. Okay, is it the triggers? It is not the triggers. It can't be... It, wait, right bumper? Nope, not right bumper. It, I, what button do you want me to press? Let's just start mashing everything. Oh, Hello. that... Okay. Mashing everything except those buttons, perhaps. Okay. Can I get even a single cupcake? Mash every single button on the controller until something works. Oh, oh, I got it! What did I do? What did I... I don't know how I got it. I just... Okay, I started mashing every single button. I spammed the, the triggers and... I started left trigger, right trigger, bumper, X, the D and the D-pad. Okay. So let's just keep doing that. Let's just keep doing that. I don't know what... Okay. So, left trigger, right trigger, X and D-pad. I can't see. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. 
That's fine. You know what? That's fine. We'll just reboot. We'll just reboot the camera system. No big deal. I don't. I didn't want to actually see anything. Honestly, that's just. I mean, who wants to see? I mean, honestly, really. Who? Oh, hi, Fanny Freddy. Okay, you're not gonna mess up. Okay. It's gonna. Okay. Aha. All right. So it's. Why would it be that? Why would it be that? Actually, why would? It... Okay. You have to hold down the left trigger, and then push the X button. Why would it ever be that? Oh, okay. All right. What? I I'm just at a loss for words. You. Why? 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 That that that's my question. In, in what in what world? What, like the, the thing is that's a, that's the thing with this, right? The game is doing approximately diddly squat. To tell you what how how you actually are supposed to play these mini games like what with, with balloon boy they at least told you hey look at balloon boy press the X button and there you go you got your balloon boy but here I did what why what's the mechanical reason that you have to hold the left trigger while you press the X button uh, ex except to piss you off okay how are you supposed to figure that out there's nothing in there if it said left trigger on the actual thing, like, in the, the clue, that'd be one thing. But it, it did not. It definitely did not. Okay, play the audio. Get you in there. Hello. And then that's just gonna preemptively seal this. No, nope, not that vent. Seal this vent. Thank you. Okay. And you've already gone. That, have you? There you are. Alright, let's get, no, wrong. Get you back here. I feel like A should be the play audio button and B should be the map toggle button. I don't know why. Just, that would probably feel more natural. But... Since I have you in that corner, I'm going to get ahead of the game, and I'm just going to reboot everything. See? Getting ahead of the game and rebooting everything before they just go offline. That's that's the game plan. But, uh, I might actually cut most of this out, because Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most boring of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. It's the... probably the easiest, and definitely, definitely the most boring. So... There, there isn't really anything, if anything interesting happens, like if I just get overwhelmed by Phantom Animatronics, I'll show that, but, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm just holding him in a corner. There's nothing interesting about this, he, he's just in a corner. He's just, I mean, maybe he's in an event now, you're, no, you're not in an event now, okay, well, get back in your corner, just get back in your corner, I go reboot things, and that's just how this works. There's practically nothing interesting to be, to be seen here. Oh look, he's in an event that I've sealed shut, Oh, well, while you're in that vent that I've sealed shut, reboot. No! Mm. He goes into a vent. He knows the vent's sealed. Th 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 three seconds ago, you went into this vent, and it was blocked off. I did not unblock it after you left. So you go back into the vent, expecting that this time you're just going to be able to waltz right to me, huh? Yep, that, th this makes perfect sense, of course. Keeps going into the vent. It's not, nothing's changing about this vent. It's, it's still blocked. Oh, is he? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 we've actually lost him. Oh, wait, no, there you are. Just get him here. Hello? Get him here. He's in camera five. So then, there's no vent that leads out of here. So now all I gotta do is just get you to camera nine. Like this. Hi. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter because it's 5 a.m., so... The the only g real danger is him getting into, into the vent in camera nine that I haven't sealed. But Hello? I should just be able to get him back here. Or not. Or not. Oh, wait, do we actually have a problem on our hands? No? Okay, that's fine. You go back to eight. Yeah, you went back to eight. No, no, don't. I didn't want to play the audio there. That's fine. That's fine. You know that? That's just fine. That's totally fine. We don't need to reboot everything. Again, it doesn't matter. He cannot get to us fast enough to kill us. He just can't. There's, there's feasibly no way for him to get to our office before six a.m. rolls around. And also, Phantom Blue Boy has not attacked us yet, which I find interesting. But just go in your. You're not gonna go in your corner, huh? You're, you're almost at your corner. Do I need to play it one more time? I'll play it one more time. Oh wait, where'd he go? Do you want to vent? I can't see. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh... Hello. Hello. All right. I don't. I don't know where you went. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to rely on the clock, and hope that. Yep. That's what I thought. The thing is, even if he went into the camera nine vent, he couldn't get to us. I mean, he could get to us, but he wouldn't be able to kill us. So all I would just do is just look at the door, and then he he can't jump scare me, because the ventilation wouldn't have gone out in time. I would just reboot the ventilation right beforehand. Anyway, so let's go see, because the next one. <laughs> oh boy, the next one. The next one is the freaking, uh, what's it? It's the, it's the 395248 clue. So, 
I would love to see how this game handles that. I'm assuming it's going to be, yep, 3 and 2 void. No, no special instructions, because why would the game give me that? What, what instructions on how to how to put input commands that are traditionally inputted with a mouse, you know, that thing that doesn't exist on console? Man, I, I don't, I mean, honestly. Honestly, just ingenious design right there. I, I just, how hard would it have been to just a simple, simple, simple control scheme? They did it for the rest of the game. Why not the mini games too? I just, I, I don't know. It, it seems, it just seems a tad strange to go to the lengths that you've gone to to include these control schemes. But also, and, and even including one for Balloon Boy, but then just not mentioning you have to hold left trigger for whatever reason to, what's it? To, God, to pick up the cupcakes. So what, what crazy button combination are we gonna have to do to input the button, to input the thing into the wall? Okay, well, let's, let's find out. Step one, mute call. Does the D-pad do anything? It does not. What if I hold the D-pad in the direction and then press X? Okay, that works. This is actually pretty simple. Three, nine, if I just, can I just, that works. Three, nine, five, two, four, eight. Okay, you know what? They did not explain it, but that was, that at, at least, at least that one made some, some level of sense. Sort of. So this, this is probably the weirdest one. You just gotta glitch your way through everything. Well, I mean, this, ah, oh no, 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 oh, okay, alright, fine, I guess we're, I guess we're going on here, alright, let's, uh, what, okay, interesting. The, the, the plan was not to, alright, let's just keep, keep, keep moving along. Keep on moving along. We, we gotta keep going until we hit the exit door. Because once we hit the exit door, there should we shouldn't be able to glitch up a wall. Yeah, let's try, let's try. There we go. That's okay. And now we can jump on top of the other one. Like so. Come on. Come on. Make it. Perfect. And then now it's time to glitch our way back into here. I said back into here. Thank you. And now we glitch our way up the right hand wall. How did somebody... I, I want to know how... The first person to figure this out. I don't know how. I do not know how you figure this out, but mad props to you. I, I imagine it's just like trial and error again and again and again until something eventually worked. Because like the, otherwise, how in the world would you figure this out? All right, let's make the final jump, and here is your cake. There we go. Okay, now let's actually beat night four. Okay, not the best timing, puppet. Not the best timing in the world. At, at least it's just you. At least there's no Phantom Freddy in the background or anything, but, you know. Okay, this, is, this knocks on my ventilation, right? But it doesn't look out my audio. I have a rough idea of where he is. Okay, give me the camera. Give me the camera. Uh, you were there last time, so you probably went... Let's just play audio here. Yeah, that got you there. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know ventilation. I know. Just get, get him away from a vent. Get him away from a vent. Get, get him here. Get him here. Get him here. Play the audio. Hope it works. And then to reboot everything. Jeez, everything is out. Okay. So what happened there is I saw the puppet, but then I saw Springtrap on the on camera five before, before, before the puppet got into my office. So I, based on that, assumed that he he must have moved since then, but he didn't go in the vent because I didn't hear the vent sound. So the only place he could have gone from there would be camera three. So I played camera I played it on camera five in the hopes that he would go back to camera five, and I was correct. So then from there I got him away from a room with a vent in it. And just trapped him there. Or they, they just didn't trap him there. I got him there so that I would hold him there until I got everything back online. So that worked. Now let's get you back to your corner where you belong. And then we can go back to doing absolutely nothing. He's just he's just sitting in his corner. There's, an, there's, there's, there's nothing to fear. You're, you're just sitting in your corner. It's it. It's the most mind-numbing game in the world. There's a reason I don't replay this game. I mean, from time to time, I'll replay Finance of Freddy's, Finance of Freddy's 2, 4, Sister Location, Pizzeria Simulator, even. I, I say that as a Pizzeria Simulator is a bad game. It's not, it's not bad by a stretch of the imagination. The only problem with replaying is that it's really freaking hard. Um, th those nighttime sections are brutal, so replaying it's just a bit more of a chore than the other ones. That's why I said even, as it, like, you usually when you say, I even did this, yeah. it's to imply that that thing you're doing is bad, but I assure you that's not the case. But I never replay this one because it's just so boring. It's so mind-numbingly dull. And it's just, I, just, I, yeah, I, I, there's nothing else I can say. It's just, it's just dull. I see they still haven't fixed the Four Nights at Fetty's achievement from the past two games. So 
So that it, logic logic then points to the fact that probably Final Fantasy IV also has that same thing. Okay. Well, makes our trip easier this time, because now we can just go down here and, yep, Shadow Bonnie, as usual, no controls. That's nice. Hopefully, we'll just be able to press X on the office desk to just click into the Shadow Bunny immediately, but you know how this game works. So, uh, we'll just, we'll just, I mean, we, we, we know a lot of button combinations now, so we'll just, we're just gonna keep trying button combos until eventually one of them works. Because at some point, something's gotta work. Hopefully, I don't know. Anyway, let's just keep on following good old Shadow Freddy over here so we can get dismantled like the rest of our friends. Yep, that's, that's about all there is. That's the thing. Gameplay-wise, this sucks, but story-wise, Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 does so much to conclude... Well, uh, I say I use the term loosely. It, it does so much to bring closure to a lot of elements of the story that I, I can't really give it flack for existing. Uh, that, that's not to say that you should value one over the other. You, you should aim for a balance between the two, but can we just press X? I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Left trigger? Alright, how about the D-pad? Nope. Uh, B, A, right bumper, no, not that, uh, nope, none of this is working. Ah, <sighs> I knew, I knew, I knew it was going too well. I knew, I knew we weren't going to get that lucky, what, just being able to press X in the office? <laughs> oh, 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 this time you have to use the left analog stick to click it? Okay. Maybe it was the right analog stick, I don't know. I was pressing one of them. So how do we change scenes? Down arrow? No. Right, anything in D-pad? Okay, B changes scenes. Oh, alright, hold on. Get get me out of this. Uh-oh. Did I, did I soft lock? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I did not. Okay, let's just change scene. Get it. Alright, there we go. Float down, float down. Float, switch, switch, switch. There we go. Okay, I thought, I thought I wasn't going to switch to this scene for some reason. Alright, so that's everything. That's everything done. Now we can get the happiest day mini now we just go straight to the happiest day mini game. Let's hope that we can actually get into the happiest day mini game because we all know how well this worked in, pr in the previous times. All right, go to camera three and left trigger, D-pad. No, nope, didn't think it was gonna be, didn't think we were gonna get that lucky again, did you? Okay. Press left. No. Oh, 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 this time it's right trigger. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. That's, that's the thing. At this point, you just you just keep trying buttons until something works. All right, well, here's the happiest day mini game. And the, mu the music here is, is really sweet. Here's your cake. We're all here. The gang's all here. a nice, nice little conclusion that took way too much effort to try to get to. Yeah, I understand that it's a console point, so you can't just click on things. I understand that. They just should have made the actual explanation of all this stuff way, way less convoluted than it was. I mean, it's 5 a.m. He's in the corner of the building, an event which is sealed. There's, there's nothing you can do. There's actually just nothing you can do. But night five, by the way. Let's figure it out. Night five. We, we just have a staring contest where you can't actually see me, but that works. Okay, go back to your corner. There's almost no, not even a point to reboot the camera because, you know, the night's going to end in a few seconds. There, yep, that, there you go. Right on cue. Five nights at Freddy survives the fifth night, and what a... Terrible tragedy. And what an ordeal that was, am I right? Alright, well, let's go get the good ending. We already got the happiest day ending, but it doesn't really count as the good ending until we actually, you know, get. Until, until the words the end pop up on the screen. The good ending has not been bestowed upon us. Alright. Head into the back room, and I said head into the back room, and look who it is! Alright, let's play. Let's play Game Purple Guy. The game is called Follow You. The game still doesn't like directional inputs, and it's really annoying. It's called Follow You until you get scared enough to run into your spring trap suit, and you're dead. Y you're, you're just dead, buddy. Yeah, no. Give it a few seconds. Three, two, one, and snap. Alright, I guess. Spring crunch. What 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 sound effect would be effective here? 
I don't know. I mean, th the springs are locking up, but saying spring or lock doesn't really work. I don't know. Anyway, there's our good ending, ladies and gentlemen. Two hundred. Okay, freed their souls. That's nice. That's the thing. Like I said, Final Fantasy Series gameplay is utter trash. It, you can't get around that. It's it's garbage. It's not good in the slightest. But the story, man, it's it's it, the the things it does for the lore is just it's so good. It really is. Oh well. Anyway, that's that's gonna. Oh, I forgot. I can't. I can't actually skip the the end. It just we we have to wait for it to time out. Okay, that's well, well. Well, while we're on the screen, I may as well just say I'm not gonna do nightmare mode. I'll do it on my own time, but not for the video. This video's probably already been going on long enough, so I want to keep it nice and short. Uh, as far as so the game itself, like I said, gameplay not so great. Story great. As far as the port goes, the actual gameplay is ported over pretty well. It, it's just the fact that they do absolutely nothing to. Okay, how do we? Okay, uh, I see. You have to click into it. Uh, they do absolutely nothing to explain the controls. Oh, we never saw Phantom Foxy, I don't think. We saw BB, we saw Chica, we saw Freddy, we saw the pup. We didn't see Foxy. Interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, what's it? They, they, they didn't, ex the only one they explained was BB's air bridge, you just press X. They didn't explain, well, I, mean, I guess this is kind of the same thing. They didn't explain the stupid cupcakes where you have to press left trigger. They didn't explain this where you have to use the D-pad. They didn't explain this where you have to use the left analog stick and then the right trigger for the happy steam game. It's just... You gotta explain that stuff. For a game whose pretty much only redeeming quality is these minigames in the Happiest Day story, you gotta clarify just a little bit. Just a bit. I, I don't know. Definitely the worst port so far. But that's it for this episode, so... Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I'll catch you all. I said, I said, I hope to catch you all next time for some more indie games. Goodbye.